Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and today I want to introduce the Databricks Assistant, a contextually aware AI assistant powered by Databricks IQ, the data intelligence engine for the Databricks platform. The AI Assistant is integrated into many authoring services within Databricks, such as Notebooks, the SQL Editor, Unity Catalog, and Lakeview, our new text-to-visualization dashboard experience. Throughout this demo, we're going to walk through a few different types of users and see how the Databricks Assistant can help improve their productivity. So to kick us off, we're going to put ourselves in the shoes of a data engineer who's been tasked with bringing in data and cleaning it up for use for, by other colleagues. We've got a Databricks notebook open, and you'll see that we have just one cell of code that shows the location of our raw data within a Unity Catalog volume. Looking at the data, there's clearly an important year released field within that title data. We're going to want to extract that into its own column. So we're going to ask our assistant. It does help to be specific, so you'll see we're, we're explaining our challenge as clearly as we can. And you'll see we even include in an example of the data and how we would like to receive the outputs. So once we send it over to the assistant, it goes and it will give us back a code block, which with just one click, we can easily insert into our notebook. And we can go ahead and run it to see if it works. All right. That looks good to me. Now there's some more nested information here in this info column that we're going to also want to extract. I've already taken my crack at writing the code this time myself. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and extract that. But oh look, looks like I made a mistake. Fortunately, we can hit diagnose error and the assistant is there to help us out. It lets us know right away that there is a typo in the method name that I forgot to capitalize a letter in a function. And then it also goes ahead and gives me the corrected code. I can just paste that in and without context switching, I have now a fixed code block and it looks like it worked correctly. Awesome. But that's not all the assistant can do. So now let's say that we want to put some comments in our code. We can ask the assistant, hey, can you help me comment my code? And it will go and understand what your code is trying to do, interpret it, and come up with really solid comments that you can go ahead and put right in your code so that your colleagues or whoever goes and has to use this code after you has a better idea of what's going on. So now that we've done some basic data engineering, it's time to save this table. Now we can go ahead and actually invoke the assistant directly in a cell. And you're going to see, we're just going to paste the prompt here. We're going to ask it to save it as a Delta Lake table called movies silver. We're going to tell it, the, the catalog and schema to save it to and to drop a column on the way in and you'll see it generates code uh, we accept it it looks good we're going to hit run and sure enough it succeeded we have saved our new table now let's jump into unity catalog and see where our table ended up you know, if we just go into the catalog and schema that we saved it in you'll see that we have our movie silver table so if we click into that we can explore another really awesome feature powered by Databricks IQ, which is AI generated comments. So this uses the power of AI to essentially look at your table and auto generate a description for it. So here we can edit it in case we want to change it. And this one looks pretty good. So we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, it also will generate column descriptions for you. Now this becomes really important because what it does is it helps you give extra context to all of your data, which in turn makes the assistant and our search functionality much, much better. So you are helping power your Databricks IQ by providing a lot of extra AI generated metadata that's going to help us down the line later. And now let's kind of put ourselves in the shoes of a SQL analyst who's going to pick this data up and wants to dissect it. So again, we have the Databricks assistant in the SQL query editor, and you can see that we can invoke it and say, find tables about box office performance. Sure enough, movie silver is the first table that gets recommended. We can go ahead and select it. And immediately it gives us some different queries to just start dissecting this table. 
and ideas on how to do it. So the first one uh, tells us it can fetch movies with the highest gross revenue. Uh, we can find top rated movies according to the meta score or retrieve the most popular genres. Again, just like in the notebook, we can go ahead and with one click, put the query right in the query editor, hit run. And in just a couple of milliseconds, we get the top 10 movies. We can check all of these queries that kind of get us a good start on interesting ways to slice and dice our data, right? And you'll see on this last one when we run it, huh, well, there's some null values there. That's interesting. Well, again, the AI assistant is here to help us out. So we're just going to ask it, can you improve my query and remove null values so that they're not taken into account? And sure enough, we ask the assistant and it rewrites our query for us and it gets rid of those null values. Again, we're just going to go click, replace our query, run it. And now the average meta score has no nulls in it. Awesome. We can even have the assistant help us rename our query to something that's a little more descriptive. And again, just super simple through the UI. We now have top genres analysis, the named query, and a nice little slice of, of something interesting. Now let's go talk about the business user and see how they can maybe create dashboards using the assistant. So we're going to jump into Lakeview. In Lakeview, we need to select the data set. Now we're going to go navigate back to our catalog and we're going to go pick our IMDb schema. We're going to find our movie silver table again. And we're going to import it. That's all we need to do here. We don't actually need to write in or edit any queries. We're going to go over to the canvas. And we're just going to drop in a visualization and we're going to ask it to show the average meta score over time. The assistant will take just a second to think. And as it's looking through the table, it's going to come back with a nice plot that shows you the meta score over all of the years that we have in our data set. We can also throw in some text boxes uh, and this supports markdown just to kind of help others understand what it is that you're showing. And just like that, we have the beginning of a nice dashboard. So that was just a small example of the many ways that the new Databricks assistant is helping users be more productive while building on the lake house. I hope you enjoyed the demo and we'll see you for the next one.